director this morning. When we were talking yesterday, <clears throat> can you all see the board? Um, I want to go back over the process that I was uh, speaking to yesterday. First of all, I, I sort of left with the impression that the corrosion inhibitors were only functional in a three-phase system. Uh, that's not true. <clears throat> the corrosion inhibitors will function in a three-phase system, a heterogeneous system, as well as in a uh, two-phase system, a homogeneous system. The reason being is that both systems have a vapor phase, both systems have a liquid phase. The difference in the three-phase system is that you have a propellant layer here, which is referred to as the interface or the inner phase. You also have that here, but the demarcation isn't uh, made by propellant, but it's just the same as the point at which the vapor phase and the, and the uh, uh, liquid phase meet. So in both cases, formulas may require the use of corrosion inhibitors. Now there's two types of corrosion inhibitors. There's liquid phase corrosion, corrosion inhibitors, and there's vapor phase corrosion inhibitors. Yesterday I referenced sodium hydroxide as a vapor phase corrosion inhibitor. That was incorrect. What I meant to say is ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide is uh, aqua ammonia 29%. It's a volatile material, and because it's volatile, it will passivate into the vapor phase. And that's the action that you want to you want to have. You want to have the uh, you want to have a, uh, a volatile uh, inhibitor that will stay in the vapor phase. And you want to use that in conjunction with a liquid phase inhibitor. Liquid phase inhibitors can be sodium uh, nitrite, uh, sodium benzoate. It could be uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. The only caveat that I wanted to mention to you here is that you do not want to use morpholine, triethanolamine, or diethanolamine. They're referred to as primary, secondary, and tertiary amines. You do not want to use amines in conjunction with the sodium nitrite because they form nitrosoamines, which are considered to be carcinogenic. What's very effective as a vapor phase and <clears throat> a liquid phase inhibitors is a combination of uh, ammonium hydroxide with uh, sodium nitrite or morpholine in combination with sodium benzoate. Uh, very effective in both a three-phase and a two-phase system. There are other inhibitors. Uh, these are the most common ones that are used in the industry, but there are other more exotic uh, corrosion inhibitors dependent upon the type of formula that you're using. And we're speaking here in the main about corrosion inhibitors used in unlined containers. Now they'll also work in line containers, but typically <clears throat> when you're using a line container, there's, there's not a lot of uh, potential for corrosion um, as there is in, a, in an unlined container where you have more metal exposure. So these work very well in unlined containers. So I wanted to clear that up. I know I had, uh, I had misspoke yesterday and I wanted to make sure that I clarify that for you. Does anyone have any questions about this? Great. Okay. 